And then what was your spark uh, to found your tech company in the late 90s? Well, it's a it's a little bit of a long story, but I'll try to uh, keep it to the to the interesting points. But uh, you know, it really starts at starts out. I I grew up in a poor family, and I I knew what it was like to want and to want more. And uh, you know, I was I was blessed and, and ended up uh, you know uh, being able to you know put together money and scholarships and student loans to you know go to school and eventually started teaching. Well, I, I started out as a um, research scientist at the Grant Institute of Mathematical Sciences at NYU. And uh, then I, I taught there for a couple of years before leaving. And, uh, you know, that was a, a great time in my life. You know, a, a poor kid from a single parent family, you know, that was able to be have a teaching and a research position at one of the largest, you know, private universities in the country. I mean, that was a big deal. I made it. And uh, then, um, you know, I had this, uh, this idea of doing something bigger. I was going to do a startup company and I did a startup company that did exactly what I needed. You know, at that point I had a research position. I had a teaching position. I'm traveling around to conferences. I'm giving talks. I was writing books. Uh, so I was writing research papers. I, I there's all the stuff was going on and I just needed to organize my life. And so I wrote, you know, some groupware software that ran on a, a web server that did all that stuff, you know, it was a calendar, you know, asset uh, a scheduler, you know, conference rooms, that sort of stuff, uh, contact manager, you know, it was basically personal information management. And uh, I saw that that was bigger than me. It could be a company. And so I left NYU. And of course, my mom didn't understand because I was doing a startup company. What's a startup? But you know, took that risk, and that's one of the things I talk about a lot when talking to folks about building companies and about investing. Is, is really understanding what kind of risk tolerance you have. Uh, you know, obviously, I had had quite a bit of risk tolerance back then, and and, and still do. 